Okay, welcome to another unboxing here. But I pretty much already just took it out of the box here. Uh, so, this is it. Um, hold on one sec, I need to get something. Okay, yes, yeah, so I wanted to get my paper here that I was going to read off of. But pretty much, this here is going to be super short. I just wanted to show, um, in case, I know many of you haven't seen it, but last year, I did an unboxing of the Serta Soothing Cool 3 times or 3 inch mattress mattress topper and cover to go on top of my bed. So I did an entire unboxing video of that and I put it on the bed uh, and I sat on top of it. I don't know if I got that on camera. A lot of people were saying I didn't get it on camera. I thought I did. but Anyway, I did an unboxing. It's super soft. I still lay on it, but... At this point, I think I may just need a, um, like, a more firm mattress. My mattress may be just, just getting outdated. But, um, but yeah, so, I did that one last year. That was a search of mattress topper and cover. But basically, I said back in that video, I remember now, where I basically said that there's a huge hole in my sheets. So, it's been like, man, at least half a year now, almost, that I probably had. I've been using these torn up sheets here. So I finally got some new sheets here. That's what this is. So here it is. This is the, it's just some bed sheets I got. These are 1,800 or 1,100 thread count bed sheets. It's an entire set. Now my bed is a king size. I mean, my bed is a queen size. The problem is that those sheets, especially with the torn up sheets, they don't fit over it with a mattress topper or cover on top of it. And many of you may have that problem, right? So I just went ahead and got a larger size, a king size uh, sheet set. I went with black. That's my favorite, obviously. This does look amazing already. Um, So this website, it's from... 1800 or 1800 bedsheets.com uh see me in my my writing there so yeah the price is 69.95 that's without without taxes and everything it came up to around like 70 something i use amazon you can sort of order through amazon i think their company on amazon was bed sheets something I have to look it up but you could pretty much type in the 1800 thread counter. You can, I think I went to their website actually, the 1800bedsheets.com, 1800bedsheets.com. I went to their website and I ordered it from there. But then I was able to log into Amazon through their website and use something called Amazon Pay. So it worked, it delivered, I paid. But anyway, just to show you, like it says down there, you get one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, and two pillowcases. Pretty simple. So that's all this is. I um, just wanted to show you. Looks like there is a zipper in it. So I'll go ahead and unzip it. And I'm going to wash. I like to get things clean. Um, may smell it here. Maybe it is clean. I like to wash things before I use them and things like that. But, um... Here it is, you know. So, I, I don't want to unravel all this, but just to show you. In fact, I may take my gloves off for this. Just to compare it to my sheets. Feels similar. I'm pretty sure this is way better, though, compared to what I'm using. I don't even think mine is 1800. So, smell it. Yeah, I'm probably going to wash it. It has a. It smells like this, sort of plastic. I mean, it smells clean. Oh, here are the two, the two fitted, um, maybe the pillowcases here. There's like a cardboard there, it's wrapped around. It's pretty basic, I mean, that's all, like I said, that's all this is here. Just showing you what it is. But I'm gonna get everything clean, washed up, put it on my bed, it's overdue. So if you're looking for, yeah, these feel super nice and soft. So hopefully you can, if it shows up good on camera, I can 
up the lighting a bit. That's probably super bright. Just to show you, maybe there's a, there's a little bit of a shine to it. I can switch the color too a little bit. That's bluish. So this is an orange light, like sort of an orange tint light. But that's all this is, you know. I just wanted to give an update on my whole bed situation there. And uh, and also sort of like, okay, well, where have I been at? Why have I not been uploading? Well, I have been dizzy and lightheaded and experiencing vertigo since February 9th. So I've been going to doctors nonstop. I have like four or five appointments coming up. I'm getting MRI scans and... It's why well, I went to an ENT doctor last week and she thinks that I had to do like a drunk balance test and a Fukuba test where I probably pronounced that wrong. I have to look it up where basically you hold two arms down front and you do a bunch of steps in place with your eyes closed. That's all this for approximately one minute, right? After I opened my eyes, I had turned completely to the right at least 90 degrees. Which surprised me. And she's like, yeah, your balance is totally off. And I could not do the drunk test properly. Like, you know, one, one foot step in front of the other. So, I have terrible balance right now. It just sort of came out of nowhere. So, I missed like two weeks of work, unfortunately, which I hate. So, that was my first time ever taking off on this new job. But I had no choice because I couldn't even look at the computer for at least like even eight seconds. Without getting that dizziness feeling and everything. So basically like the more I walk. Some of you may have experienced this. The more I walk. Or move or just the more the more head movement that I do. The more I experience that um that balance issue. So that's why I haven't been uploading. But I'm starting to feel a little better. But to the point where I think I can maybe start setting up a computer. I've already started transferring some of my files on my computer again. So, I at least have over a terabyte of space now, and I'll get back to, like, all my new gameplay that I planned. Literally, the day before I was planning to play Hogwarts Legacy, which I didn't even know Hogwarts Legacy was out at the time. I thought it came out on February 10th or 11th, so I was expecting to play it around then. But then that's when I started having this dizziness feeling, and blood pressure went up, and I've been... Switching my blood pressure medications and everything. So that's where I've been at. I'm dealing with health problems and trying to maintain the job at the same time. So there's a lot going on. And yes, I did manage. Thank you all for the subscriptions. Uh, all the subscribers for watching. I did manage to reach the 1,000 subscriber um, goal there. And I am in the YouTube partnership for the first time ever. So thank you all. Um, like I said, I... And to get new gameplay, but you know, there's things like this always happen. So it's like literally whenever something is going good, I swear, something comes out of nowhere. At least that happens with me. I don't know about anyone else, but that's all this is. Excited about this. Oh, and the other thing. Well, <laughs> I missed an appointment with my cardiologist yesterday because I went out to the car and the car would not uh, detect, you know, the silly uh, key fob, right? But I checked my door. I think my door was cracked open, but it looks like the battery's low. So I'm going to charge that up this week. Hopefully everything will be fine. I don't know why my door was open. That's weird. I don't think anyone's trying to break in. I'm pretty sure I closed it because uh, I had not driven the car in two weeks. I've been on bed rest for two weeks. And again, that's why I have not been uploading. But I'm starting to feel a little better, but I still have the dizziness, vertigo issue. But I went to the ENT. She's thinking it could possibly be the inner ear. But I'm still getting scans and stuff. No one really knows right now. I'm getting tests and scans and everything. So, that's all this video is here. Just wanted to show it. It's, yeah, this already feels better than the one I was using on my bed. But it's really difficult to find a black sheet set. And it says Egyptian cotton. But then the website also says, if you look at the website, I'll put it in the description. I'll put it in the comments below. You go, go read what they wrote, because I'm not entirely sure, because it also says something like, it's a synthetic Egyptian cotton. 
it mimics it. But then also, I don't know. I could have sworn I read that. But, but anyway, this website has the highest rating for sheet sets out there. And it's 1,800 thread count. That's why I wanted to show this. Is it the best one out here? For now, I'm going to say the best in terms of something pretty basic and simple. For what you get, seems like. Uh, I'm no expert on this stuff. You know, I had, I got advice from a bunch of women. Like, at you know, when I was going to the malls and I was looking around. And it's funny, every time I go to the store, people were asking me if I worked it. Literally every weekend, just this past weekend, when I'm dizzy and I was looking at some chapstick. I'm trying to maintain my balance in the Walmart. Some guy walks up and asks me, you know, where the hair gel is at. People always think I work in the store. It's really strange. But, but yeah, when I went to, man, it's a few months ago now. I went to Macy's and JCPenney, and and I was asking uh, one of the women there who works there. And she said at least get 1,000 thread count. So it's really difficult to find something over 1,000 thread count that's Egyptian cotton and the color black. So this website has all the colors you need and it's 1,800. So, and they have all the sizes. I just went with the king size just to make sure it's big enough. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have some new gameplay coming up. Promise that. Um, as I just explained, there's a lot going on. It sucks what happened. That's how it is. I still plan to do my first streams ever. I still plan to play Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, there's another new game I'm adding. Um, gosh, it's called Witch Fire. Witch Fire. First person shooter. It looks like Doom. Combined with and a little bit of Overwatch. It mostly looks like Doom. But there's some vampire witch stuff going on with the weapons and everything. There's some doom dodging. Not cool dodging like Unreal Tournament, but there's some doom dodging in it. You know, from the Doom games, like Doom Eternal. So, I do plan to play that game. So, thanks for watching. Like the video. Subscribe. Till next time, guys. See ya.